All right, Brad got us a permission at a resort. The problem is, <laughs> the ground part's frozen. I mean, the water level's down, so you check it out. But the bay is iced over. So, we're gonna bust through this ice. See if we get some treasures. There's a, I don't know if you can see the, the ladder over there, but people obviously swim here, so. The good news is where they jump off, still in the water, so we can definitely dig there. Brad's doing all the hard work right now. I can just go behind him. Well, Brad and I have been working this beach in clad after clad. There it is. 43 silver Canadian dime. All right. Brad thinks I planted this. <laughs> he's he's sitting over there defeated. <laughs> what? Oh man, that's a just a booming silver ring. Look at that. Classic drop. Oh, that's a sweetie. Man. I like that. Boom. Let me see if I can find a mark. I'm sure this is silver, though. Yep, says sterling right in there, so it's probably a little older ring, too. Boom. That's a chunker. Okay, so that first spot Brad and I were in was a bust. <laughs> so we just came... That old spot I had. I can't believe it. I just got freaking gold. Two silver and a gold. Boom. That's crazy. That is freaking crazy. Ah, oh, it feels so good. And looks like I see the mark. Yeah, 14K, baby. <laughs> All right, so Brad and I had a tough go yesterday. He had that permission and we were breaking the ice. And we tried that for about, I don't know, 45 minutes. Got right into the swimming area. Not a single sound, like nothing. And we were running out of time, so I was like, all right, I'll just take you to one of my old spots. And this place, had way more than I was expecting. I mean, I've hit this a lot of times. I'll show you in the wrap up. I got a ton of clad. Uh, Brad got a ton of clad. He only got a weedy yesterday. But what's kind of weird, and I'll try to show you here. So, see this gravel? And I think what happened is the waves pushed some of this gravel up higher uh, this last year and so it exposed some of the treasures that were hidden like way below it because obviously you can see there's got to be you know a couple feet of gravel here and your you know your metal detector isn't going to hear all the way down there so anyways we're going to finish up here um i'm probably not going to show you any of the clad but if i find something cool i'll let you know and then if we have time we'll jump to another spot so anyways Brad's not with us today. Uh, his coil cover broke yesterday, so we actually also cut our hunt a little short. We ended up just going up to the truck and grilling some burgers, calling it a day. And I didn't feel too bad. I mean, obviously, I was killing it. Um, but I got Dinwiddie with me today, and so, you know, there's two of us swinging. So hopefully, we can get something good. But uh, all right, let's get to it. So this was a six. I don't think it's very old. When you look at the back, you'll see what I mean. But it's been here a while. It's definitely weathered. I'm not really sure what it is. It definitely says something, though. Now, let me check it out. My, my best guess is it's a crown over a phoenix. Might have to look that up. Well, see, it's kind of frozen in some of these holes. Thank goodness this wasn't anything good, because... 
I just shovel whacked it so hard I bend it. So I'm glad that wasn't a silver coin. Man, it's hard chipping them out sometimes and being careful. A uh, sweet high tone in this hole. But Dinwiddie's got the little pick hammer. <laughs> Should have been a miner, I guess. Yeah, we've been working on this for like 15 minutes, and I had about 15 minutes in before he started, so. But kind of sounds like a silver half dollar or something. Hopefully, it's not just a big piece of iron. But man, we're desperate. Look at this. I'm just chipping at this thing. And this means you want it. Yeah. You want it. Look at him. I want it bad. <laughs> <laughs> sad it was a regular quarter just clad down there like nine inches beaten for like half hour to get to it because it sounded so good okay sorry i didn't get a lot of clips but to be honest i just dug a lot of clad for two days uh, you can see you know this is just mine uh dinwiddie and brad they got their own piles so and this this isn't bad for you know half frozen bank where you're chipping them out that was a lot of work but did pay off on the first day guys i mean that's a beautiful older sterling ring no idea what the h is going to stand for 14 karat gold ring and of course the i think it was a 1943 silver dime so I'll definitely be back to that spot. There's quite a bit of the bank is still frozen under the swimming dock, totally frozen. And I haven't even been out in the water yet. So, but hey, that's a good start. Beat all my expectations. So, all right, if you like the video, give me a comment and a like and a subscribe. Make sure you hit that follow button so that you don't miss any episodes. Thanks guys.